Hi everyone, so this is going to be my last, I guess, update for this Homeworks Black Friday haul shipping experience situation. So in my last part, I'll give a brief summary if you didn't watch it. Um, I received the order that I placed and I only had this mist right here. And so I thought that was odd. And then what made me decide, okay, I need to contact customer service besides the candle not being there was that I got a separate email from Hallmark saying, hey, your order has been delivered. I'll put it up with like my information blocked, but it had listed that the candle and the mist were delivered. So I thought, okay, I definitely did not get a candle in that. And so I contacted the customer service, which I don't know why they don't have a phone number. That seems a little bit easier, but I ended up writing an email. I think I'll put that up as well, but I'll read it. I just said, hi there, this email is in regards to order number blank. I ordered the following two items, one French vanilla pumpkin body mist, one glazed blueberry muffin candle. Spoiler, that was a candle that I really wanted. And then I have, or then I write, however, I only received the body mist in the package that was delivered 1216. Attached are copies of the package slips included in the box, listing only the body mist. The FedEx tracking number also indicates the weight of the package being 0.6 pounds slash 0.27 kilograms, which is less than the weight of the candle and does not indicate another box will be delivered. And then I say, can you please let me know if there will be another shipment for the glazed blueberry muffin candle in my order and the associated tracking number if that is the case. So I sent that email as of as i'm recording this two days ago so december 16th um pretty soon after i had filmed that very kind of like off the cuff unboxing of my order and i did not expect them to get back to me so quickly because um i read that some other people they they were either not responded to or it took some time because of whatever issues they're going through but i ended up getting an email saturday yesterday so that would have been what within a day or 24 hours so i'll put up the email so it just says hi my name we are so sorry to inform you that the candle in your order was oversold and we were not able to ship it to you this is not something we are proud of and we are working on preventing this in the future on top of your order being significantly delayed we understand that this is very frustrating to hear i just issued your refund for the candle as well as the $6.99 shipping fee that was paid. You should receive a refund notification email shortly. Thank you so much for choosing to shop with Homeworks. We value your business and hope you give us another chance in the future. Happy holidays, Homework customer support. So that was the email I got Saturday, a day after I reached out, which I was really happy that they got back to me so quickly. I'm assuming they're working overtime to try to resolve whatever situation. Well, I mean, uh, there are several situations apparently, but I guess responding to customers that have questions or reaching out. And then I received a separate email. Um, I might include that as well, but it just says you have received a refund. Hi there. You just received a refund on your recent homeworks order for one of the below reasons. And it gives the three options. Have a great day. I thought I was going to have to ship back this miss because obviously this is kind of free since I'm getting a full refund. So that's why I kept this box right here, but it doesn't look like I need to. I would have been fine sending it, but I didn't want to pay shipping to ship back <laughs> their body miss. So I was expecting maybe a return label, but I'm glad that it's not like some businesses where if they make a mistake, they want you to kind of like rectify it. This one is just like, hey, we're going to take the L it's all on or it's on us so okay so yeah i'm going to received a refund receive a refund for my candle and the shipping which i'm really glad that they also included shipping that was a nice touch um i was surprised again that they responded so quickly well i'm glad that it was resolved well technically it's not really resolved now that i think back to it because I had paid for this order november 24th and they charged my credit card november 24th so today it's what is it december 18th i'm not sure how long it takes for them to process a refund i would give it maybe like three business days and they sent me an email on saturday so i'm assuming sometime next week i'm going to or it's going to show up 
it's unfortunate um i would definitely be more upset if these were like time sensitive gifts and i needed to let's say ship this off and then oh no i'm down a gift for somebody and now i have to like go into the store which is really hectic now because of the holidays and i would have to essentially replace it and the other good thing about my order in particular that it's a really small order so it's not like there's let's say i placed a huge order and it was 150 dollars i would have been out 150 dollars for what 20 20 anywhere from like 20 to like 30 days depending on how much the refund is i don't think that a lot of people or that most people would be okay with that or some people their finances are tighter than mine so some people can't afford to be out 150 dollars for days on end or weeks on end i haven't tried burning this candle i really like it the photo label but i feel like since this was my first time and my sister's because i also placed an order for her which that which that's so crazy because some people's experience really do affect how you think of a brand because with her order if it was just hers i would have thought oh like what's the big deal like it's a little bit delayed um but no my order was completely different and it had several issues maybe it's because i don't this is my first time shopping from homeworks i don't really have brand loyalty to homeworks this is my first you know experience with the brand so i'm kind of like yeah whatever they made a mistake but like yeah whatever i don't really care for them as much to think one way or the other if they have a good sale i'll shop i think that's where my priorities stand at this point as far as giving them another chance um yeah sure if the deals are good like if there's a deal like this one i could picture myself ordering but the whole 15 percent off your order but you still have to pay for shipping i'm not going to use that i feel like that's kind of whatever the first time that homeworks tried to i guess temper down people's reactions and while i do appreciate a free four-wick candle i feel like in order for me to even for that to be even of use to me i would have to already like automatically give them a second chance which i don't even know if i'm if i care to do that honestly I thankfully have a TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods stores. They're pretty close to me. I live in a big city, LA, so there's a lot of stores. But some people, like, they don't. They rely solely on ordering candles online. And I definitely don't picture myself ordering from Homework Stop Shop anytime soon. Maybe next year, but besides that, no. I think that if you don't have a, like, a retailer store, one, they don't have all the scents, I'm assuming. And people tend to buy and not get a lot of, you know, like a lot of variety of candles. You might just see the same one in every single store. If you do need to buy Homeworks candles online, maybe just buy them at QVC. I see a lot that they sell them in two packs, like two candles, but I'm like, what if you just want one? So I don't know how exactly that works out. I was a little bit bummed that they didn't offer to you know say like hey do you want to replace your candle with another candle that we have in stock i would have preferred that but i mean okay i'm cool with the refund um some people don't always get a refund so all right cool and especially since i didn't pay for the package protection i thought i was going to get more pushback on that aspect i still don't like that you have to pay for package protection but like in this scenario i understand why they would refund me because it definitely wasn't a shipping issue it was more of like when the products went into the box it wasn't that it was damaged or lost or anything during transit it was before transit yeah so i think my refund's gonna come in sometime next week hopefully soon but it's like what 10 bucks so i can wait i would say the thing that i did not like about my order experience in particular not my sister's order so this is my sister's order but mine specifically was that had i not reached out i feel like they wouldn't have known that there was an issue with my order so if i wouldn't have said hey i didn't receive my candle nothing would have been done so that had to come from me i had to be proactive and reach out to them because on their end it just showed that they had sent both of my candles when that wasn't the case um, I would have liked if that would have been caught before the box had been sent out or I don't know how in their system they got it wrong. 
when the shipping weight is, I mean, clearly there's not a candle in the box. So I don't know if there's like a quality check when the packages go out. I mean, I see that the boxes are like super nicely packaged and everything. I'm not sure how that error happened, um, especially if they said that my candle was out of stock, which it wasn't when I placed the order. But I mean, maybe it was if they were having in inventory issues. So I recommend one, if you have received your order, be sure to check it, count all your candles and see that everything's there. And if not, email the customer service, which is I think your only means of communication with Homeworks. That's, I mean, I'm not on social media or I don't have like an Instagram where I can be like, hey, I have questions or anything. So there's that, or just contact customer service if you're still, if you still haven't gotten a shipment notification, I believe in the email sent out by Harry Slacken was that all shipments were hopefully, at this point, I don't know, because I feel like the goalpost has been moved at least three times. So maybe just contact customer service with the idea that your order might get canceled like mine. I'm glad I don't have to, I hate stuff that are pending. So I'm really glad this is almost resolved. If I were to recommend this brand, I would say it's hard because I haven't burned this candle. I haven't used this body wash. I haven't tried, well, the mist smells good, but of course as a body mist, it's not gonna have so much longevity. I would definitely advise against buying from the Homework Stop Shop website until they figure out their inventory system problems, get out all the orders and basically look back and see what happened. Maybe like a incident report to see where the failures were at. I'm still getting emails, like right, like today, I just got an email saying like, hey, we have these deals going on Amazon. And I'm just like, I don't know how you're still selling candles or I feel like you need to take a pause, get all the outstanding orders out and then like reassess. But from the reviews I have seen from the Homeworks candles, the quality is like very hit or miss. So I don't even think I would spend what, even in TJ Maxx or Marshall's Home Goods, these candles run anywhere from $16.99 and maybe if you find them on sale, but to pay $16.99 for a candle that doesn't really perform that great where the throw is weak and that it soots. I'm not spending $16.99 <laughs> plus the, uh, what, 10.25% sales tax in my city to get a candle that soots with no throw. Like, that's, that's not happening. But I'm gonna burn this one, see how it performs, and then go from there. But yeah, so that's the conclusion of all my Black Friday Homeworks candle orders. One of them went super well. I mean, it w the package was delayed. And then in the other one, I was missing an item, though it was marked as both of the items being delivered and I had to reach out and I'm waiting for a refund. So I can just say that Homework does a very nice job. See, I can't even say that they, that they do a good job at shipping because one of my orders was wrong. But as far as getting broken candles, I can't picture that happening with them just because of how meticulously it's packed inside of the box and the one that I my sister's order that arrived hers came double box so I really like that but yeah this is the end of this homeworks black friday shopping experience thank you so much for watching and have a great day